More fucking beer from Yorkshire. Welcome to another edition of Bands, Bikes and Booze Reviews. There's another beer from the People's Republic of Yorkshire. The sacred sod of God's own county, Yorkshire. Got some of this stuff. Daleside, Daleside, Monkey Wrench, Strong Ale, Dark and Beautifully Smooth. <laughs> Fuck, why do I do this? Daleside are a brewery from a place called Harrogate, which is in North Yorkshire. That is the posh part of Yorkshire. That's where people who think they've gone up in the world go to live. These are quite an interesting brewery. They've been going since the mid-1980s and they come from a family of traditional brewers. And they've been brewing ever since. And their beers are quite renowned, believe it or not. Now, to be honest, not really heard of them down here at all. They're not popular. You might see them in the odd supermarket, but you really have to look hard. And I got this from uh, Drinkswell, who are based in a place called Ripon, which again is in North Yorkshire. It's not too far from Harrogate. But you just don't see this sort of stuff down here, which is a real shame because there is some absolute gems. I know I take the piss out of Yorkshire and all that, but all joking aside, there are some absolute gems that come out of Yorkshire when it comes to ale. And this one, I think, is going to be one of them. It's got a lot going for it. It has won two gold awards. No, I lie. It has won three camera awards, gold for Strong Ale, Old Ale in that category. And it has also won a, a SIBA, S-I-B-A. I'm not too sure what that award is, but it's, I think it's, it's, it's for local beers. The shop is local. And they've won that, an award there as well. Now, the fact they won a camera award three, for three years, I really do respect them camera awards because the judges really do know what they're looking at. And, you know, the whole award system for me really is a complete and utter shit show. I told you, I've mentioned this before, but I'll mention it again on here just in case you ain't seen it. Kestrel Super, I reviewed that a while back, and it had an award on the side of it. And I thought, fuck me, they must have changed the recipe because it used to taste like shit. Apparently, the award that they won was an award that you paid for. I think you gave these organisers like two grand or something like that. It was like a food and drink award that it won. You give them two grand and you're allowed to put that on there. I just thought, what a load of shit. That's just a complete and utter scam, that is. And it's designed to fool punters like me and you. Well, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. That's never going to happen to me again. Anyway... Enough about that. As I say, more about this Daleside Brewery. They're quite good at what they do. They have ex quite a good export market. They export to the United States, Canada, Australia, Denmark, and Sweden. And they've also broken into the supermarket market, if you know what I mean, apparently. I've not, as I say, I've not seen this stuff down here, but in Yorkshire, apparently I'd imagine it would be it would be quite common. So, with that in mind, let's investigate this beer. They've got it down as, as a strong ale. It's 5.3. Um, there's no brew sheet on this. I can't tell you what sort of beer this is. In fact, all I've got to go on is strong ale. So that could mean anything. Could be an old ale, could be an ESB. I honestly don't know. The fact that it won the the old ale, the camera old ale award and strong ale would make me tend to think that it's like a strong ale, but you never know. It's such a, you know, a, 
a varied market, if you like, or a changeable feast when you come to the characterization of beer. But they do talk a good fight on their website. They say they won't compromise on flavor or ingredients. Um, that's, I'm, I'm treading water here. It's a 500 ml bottle. There's, there's really no information on this beer whatsoever. And I'll tell you something, considering I work in IT and websites and stuff, not so much now, but I used to be design websites and stuff, their website is pretty crap, to be honest. Dale side, if you're watching, sort your website out. Anyway, enough about websites, let's get back to the beer. Right, cap is off. It is just a plain black cap, nothing to see here. Let's get this into the glass. Wow, that looks nice. Wow, there's plenty of carbonation in that. And here it is. I don't know whether it's bottle conditioned. It doesn't really make any mention of that. I don't think it is. It looks quite looks quite clear. I'm sure they would have mentioned it if it was bottle conditioned. There it is in the glass. Very, very dark, ruby, mahogany style colour. Hmm, not much aroma. That is disappointing. I thought this would be brimming with aroma. Hmm, there is a vague, vague toffee malt on that, but not a lot else. Oh well. I have been proved wrong in the past. This could be a nice beer, just with no aroma, but it really isn't much to go on at all. Anyway, proof is in the tasting. Let's get it down the hatch. Your good health. Mm, yeah, the aroma was pretty much what it was in the flavour too. There's some vague, there's some caramel malt, a fair bit of toffee malt on that. Reasonable amount of hot bitterness on the arse end of it. But generally, everything is just toned down, which is a real shame. I thought this was going to be a flavour monster. Now, nah, the flavours the flavors aren't big on this, which... Which is surprising. I'm, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say this tastes really different in the cask. I'm assuming that's what the camera judges were given the gold award for, the stuff out of the cask. But from the bottle, there really isn't much. There's a bit of toffee on the finish, a bit of toffee malt, and some nice bitterness too, earthy bitterness. But generally disappointing. I thought the flavours would be a lot bigger, certainly if it was in a sort of old ale category. There was a fair bit of carbonation in there, which, you know, again, that should be promoting the, the flavours, but just not getting it. Mm. 
No, that's disappointing. That's really disappointing. I thought this was going to be a mass of toffee malt, bit of caramel, you know, that big, big flavour, that Moorish toffee malt flavour. And it's just not there, which is a real shame. Don't get me wrong, it's quite sessionable. Well, I wouldn't say it's sessionable at 5.3, but, you know, it's quite easy drinking. It's not, there's no nasties in there, put it that way. There's nothing that's turning me off. It's just I'm disappointed that the flavours aren't bigger. It's like everything's just been toned down, which is a real shame. So what's the verdict on Daleside Monkey Wrench? Yeah, overall disappointing. Now, when I say disappointing, I don't mean that there's any nasty flavours in here because it's pretty agreeable as a drink. But I'd be expecting, or was expecting, a hell of a lot more flavour than there is. I really wanted, <clears throat> I really wanted that big toffee malt finish. I wanted the caramel malt in there as well. Some hop bitterness on the arse end too, but there's just none of that. It's just very, very, very toned down, in my opinion. Which, you know, I've tasted some cracking beers from Yorkshire. And I gave this quite a big build up and sadly it just hasn't it just hasn't delivered, unfortunately. By the way, the, the name Monkey Wrench, I think it's something to do with the band the Foo Fighters. There's a UK Foo Fighters who are a tribute band to the Foo Fighters and they they are associated with this beer. Now if you like the Foo Fighters, brilliant. I don't mind them actually. Dave Grohl is a fucking ridiculously talented bloke. And the music's good. I do like them. My missus absolutely loves them. That's probably one of her favourite bands. For me, they're okay. They're not bad. They've got some great tunes. But the beer, on the other hand, it, it just doesn't live up to that sort of reputation at all. Um, I'm going to give it... I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. And that really is the best I can do. And I'm probably being a little bit generous there. I'm thinking more, it should have been a five out of 10, but I'll, you know, no, do you know what? You're gonna be, you're gonna get a five out of 10 because I really had high hopes for this beer. On paper, it looked really good. The tasting notes that, that was on the, on the Drinkswell website really did appeal to me. And I thought, you know, this is my kind of beer. And it's just, I don't know, maybe I'm just expecting too much, but, yeah, I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10. Am I going to recommend it? If you live in Yorkshire, you'll probably know about this and you'll know that there's better stuff out there. There is much better beer from up there than this stuff, unfortunately. As for the other Dale side stuff, I don't know. I think, I think this is the first one I've had from the Dale side brewery. I could be wrong, but either way, this one, I won't be buying it again, unfortunately. So there you go. And remember, beer is working class champagne.